down in three, two, one. Restock Live being called as we go into this matchup between Existence and Scandi. Hope everybody is enjoy is uh, well today. Welcome to the BF2 Conquest League week number seven. We are on Gulf of Oman between Scandi and Existence. I'll be following Existence on the mech side. Well, actually, I'll be following both rounds on the mech side. We're going to see if we can just keep it isolated to allow us to show what both teams do on the same side. Gulf of Oman, a four, four flag map, two light transports, one tank per team. On uh, existence, we've got M, Fatboy, Basa, Kayas, Waka, OP. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce that. I know it's somebody. Somebody in the chat can help me out. Ram Breaker. All right. Looks like a fairly good spawn for Scandi as they push down towards the village flag. Existence, excuse me. Yeah, existence going to go. Towards the wall, this has been a continually, uh, a more recent meta that we've seen a lot of BF2 teams do. They don't go for the village flag right away, they go to the right, and just like that, that's why. We got, uh, just tank, US tank goes down immediately, commander in the, in the Humvee, trying to put some pressure on the Vodnik that's still sitting there. Lars saying his ping is crazy, I'm not sure what we can do about that, that's just the nature of the game, and... Sometimes people have ISP issues. Existence rushing in for infantry. Hi as the squad leader, M in the tank for, for uh, existence covering them on the train tracks. Village flag being pressured. OP. Leaden. Why can't I know? I don't know that name. Waka pushing into flag radius. OP is there as well. Lars back in the tank. OP, the last alive on the village flag for existence. Gonna fight it out. Not going to get any kills, but Lars will put a shot into M, I think, on the on the high or on on near in the tank on the train tracks. I love this immediate follow up by Existence. That first push failed. They brought in another Vodnik, and I would actually kind of like to see M take a shot at it, at the Vodnik just so it responds faster. Lars in the tank, Laden. Thank you, thank you, Warg. Really appreciate it. Artillery going to come in from existence. Going to see if we can hit the Humvee. Humvee is nowhere near the artillery range, so kind of a dud there. Breaker still alive as existence continuing the pressure of the village flag as I zoom out on the minimap so we can actually see what we have. Breaker. Waka. OP. They're going to continue this push as the Humvee behind the wall. It's going to be Peaky. Peaky will drop two players. In that special Humvee position, I'm kind of surprised that M hasn't pushed up, put a shell into him yet. No counterplay from uh, Gandhi, as they are all below on the, on the southern side of the train tracks. Village flag pressured again by existence. Three infantry now. Yep, three on, infantry on flag radius. Kill feed almost entirely the way of existence. Waka with the hand grenade kill on the Spencer up on the high ground of the village. And the tank of Lars is going to barrel in just to try to hold the flag radius, but there's nobody there behind him. It's just Lars. And it's hard to take put a shell out anywhere you don't see. He bails out of the tank! No, it wasn't him. He didn't bail out of the tank. That was a... Wow, that was weird. I really thought he bailed out just for a last-minute ditch effort, but... He did act, he changed his squad to the squad leader. And the rest of Scandi started bailing out of the tank, but it was already too late. That was very, very late. Scandi taking both Humvees towards Village Flag. One gets hit with the Humvee, but it will make it to the flag radius. Hopefully, whoever's here is a squad leader. Pause! And gravity can take some pile on all. Lars is gonna, looks like he's gonna. Maybe reset his router as he said he was having internet issues. Five, four, three, two, uno. And do we are we paused again? Are we back in? We're back in. M here, Spencer here. M kills Spencer on the village flag. Scandy pushing back into village. There's only one left alive. Breaker will revive Laden. And Waka. Obliterates Peaky, so that'll be the end of that Scandi push, and Scandi now down to the beachhead. 
Totally fine. Predictions are up, boys. Now that this is a heavily skewed round... Artillery from Existence will drop onto the beachhead, only get one kill. Scandy now being pressured very, very heavily. London on the right, Waka on the left. M dead in the center, the tank steal. Potential not there. Spencer grabs it, I believe it was Spencer. Anybody had to grab that Abrams before it gets stolen. Existence pressuring the beachhead flag. Very heavily. Three, four infantry pushing in. The tank, of course, will be back up in about 10, 15 seconds, so there will be almost certainly a tank steal unless Scandi can eliminate the infantry right off the front of the base. OP will get a kill into Pavlodino. Haya's there. Lada gets Srawed off the revive immediately. And there's the tank steal. OP will grab it. One straw to the back of the tank, second straw. Tank is on fire, but I think it'll go! It take, gets taken out. <laughs> yes, you guys can pause the multiplayer game. The refractor engine is capable of many thing, many abilities. Pathway to many abilities. <laughs> Okay, so the push against Scandi's Beachhead has been slowly held back a little bit. M pushed forward a little bit. Gets hit by a straw on the right, on the left. Tank gets pushed forward immediately. Lars AFK will push forward and kill the M in the tank. So Scandi has an opportunity to break out right now. They've got their tank. I believe they've eliminated the existence from the Beachhead from the right side. Everything has to be pushed towards the village right now. If they wanted to even take one of those, the Humvee, to the right, that would be a good idea, and that's exactly what they're going to do. But they have to be very, very careful. This has to be an overwhelming AT push. Humvee will get hit. One player to the city. Breaker there, M there. They need, like, four ATs to squ squad bomb on whoever is here in this, on this player, on the, uh, on the Scandi. Well, there's one, but it's not enough. Luyette was just a tad late, along with, you know, nobody else. And Fatboy drops the artillery, a really good one. Kills Lars and Spencer on top of the village flag. Two players from Scandi. Pushing into the flag radius. Now three is more respawn. M is here in the tank. One Sron to M, but he's just going to drive right by. He might need a second. Nope, not even going to eat a second. M just on a mean streak. Completely defending that flag. Ha! <laughs> Lars respawns in the tank. Gets hit immediately. Going to have to back up to the supply crate. M... And the tank is up to 21 kills already. We're not even halfway through the round. And he will get the kill onto Lars from quite a ways away. Vasa on the right. Being a pain in the ass to Scandi. Providing that extra beachhead spawn. Two infantry going to go after him. And he's going to get shot in the back. Breaker will spawn just in the nick of time, but a hand grenade from Spencer will clean that up. Humvee from Scandi going far, far left. Um, Can you even see anything? I get that it's Pavladino, but he's trying to shoot the UAV there. I am not sure about this Humvee. Oh my god. The tank shell and th four and three uh, straws go at it. Alright. Scandi will take their tank again. Gets hit by one rocket in ASAP.
A really potentially nice artillery from Santi will get triple kills. Well, TK Pavladino on the way out as well. M now forced to back up a little bit. Scandi potential to push into... Here's an opportunity to push into the village flag. Skill. Existence. Respawns in force. And with the revive train. <laughs> that just go that is an organized defense. That was incredible play. Perfect timing on the respawn, perfect organization on the respawn timers. The moment somebody died in that firing line, they revived them. That was beautiful from existence. Vasa. Squad leader for existence. Currently playing as medic. He will not be able to do anything to Lars in the tank. But he will get killed by Pavladino. He did hold up Lars a bit though. And more infantry will push in. From existence. Lars in the tank will go down to OP. M back up in his T90. Dropping two kills immediately. He'll have to back up a little bit. I think he get. I think he ate a rocket or two, but definitely helped the push. Let's take a look at the kills right now. We got twenty-seven and one for uh, M in the tank. Lars seven kills, ten deaths. The kill feed total right now: eighty-seven, eighty-eight kills for existence, eight, fifty-five kills for Scandi. So even just the kill feed, very, very heavily in favor of existence. Squid, double hand grenade kill though, that'll even help, that'll help a little bit. And here we are back in another opportunity for another tank steal. Lars down. Tank will respawn for the US side in about 15 seconds or less. Artillery going up for the US side, dropping it, uh, well. Rubbing it a little farther outside the flag radius. Lars will get the tank again. Bad boy for existence dropped the arty right on top of the breachhead. Only got one only got one kill though. Tickets 145 to 50 in favor of existence, so we almost have a hundred ticket lead. Lou yet with a triple hand grenade kill onto Laden, Waka, and Hayaz. You know what the funny part about that was? At the end of the day, it didn't do much because the squad leader is still alive. OP will respawn. Laden will respawn. Beachhead flag, finally. And we have a couple players from existence in flag radius. OP, gonna drop squid. Lars gonna come back to defend, and he will 100% kill OP. Took a little time there. And Scandi potentially going to make a base trade. Uh... Yeah, they wanted a base trade opportunity. Fatboy going to drop the artillery right on the main base. With a Humvee on flag radius. Fatboy's artillery will TK OP and lot, and that's a double TK. Did Waka just wipe the squad leader, though? I think Squid was the squad leader for, for Scandi, and I think that push is over. Scandi going to use the opportunity, though, to break out. Excellent play. Draw ex it drew existence all the way back to their main. They've got most of a lot of their players on the village flag. Two currently right now. Well, now one. They probably will get this flag back, and they do, and we're back to a two-flag game. Excellent play by Scandi. The only uh, downside to that was it should have happened to, you know... It probably should have happened 10 minutes ago or 12, you know, 5 minutes ago. That would have been better. Existence, though, not to be trifled with, will drop immediately back onto the village flag. Scandi dropping a lot of rockets trying to weed them out. Flag is going to go gray. It's not There's no bleed applied just yet. Uh, Hayaz and, well, just Hayaz will be inside that bunker. Waka will respawn. Lars in the tank probably could... 
Never mind. Scandi has wiped it out. Good. And as Scandi completely uh, seals up the deal on the village flag, Pavlodino has pushed in that Humvee all the way around back towards the, the city flag. OP will take out Pavlodino, so that'll be the squad leader. Breaker gonna run right into his face. Squid will get the kill, though, which is pretty impressive. Considering Breaker, I think, had the advantage in that fight. Pistol kill under OP will get it from good distance. 16 tickets left for Scandi in round number one of Gulf of Oman. And I gotta tell you, they're making a good effort out of these last 15 tickets. That's all you really need. You really just want to get as many tickets as you can, even if, if especially if you know you're gonna lose the round. Just pull away. Drain them as much as you can. So we got 13. So we had 15 tickets at what? 120? We'll see how many tickets that Scandi can drain from existence before the round ends. They don't have much to work with anymore. That push onto the city flag kind of cost them a little bit. If I were Scandi, I would do my damnedest to defend the village and try to just revive, 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 and just make existence pay for it. And here we go. Three players from Existence pushing into the upper village. Artillery's going to land right on the tank. So far coming up with nothing. Terrace will get a kill into Laden. Waka the left, the left, the last alive. And Terrace will get it. Oh, I love this Humvee place from break, placement from Breaker. I'm actually kind of surprised that the exploding Vodnik didn't, didn't kill anybody. Scandi still hanging on with eight tickets. They're a little split, though, and I, there's a lot of medics, or a lot of AT here, so... This is where they're going to start losing tickets if they go AT. they got to be very careful. I wouldn't have pushed up to the train tracks. In my opinion, that's a tactical mistake. I think you use rockets at the, you know, by your medics. Allow the tank to do as much damage as it can at range. Waka, Basa, both picking up a kill. In the case of Waka, too. The tank from existence, or excuse me, the artillery, will, artillery for existence will drop right on top of the tank of Lars. That is the second artillery in a row from existence that nothing came up from it. Terrace, Squid, Pavladino, he's picking up another kill. Existence gonna rotate, they're gonna go for the beachhead. One, two, three. Huge artillery from Santi! Gets two! And he, he gets an MP5 kill with himself. Oh, and he gets the last one! Huge artillery! Strike from Santi. Huge play as well. Getting the getting the extra MP5 kill. Santi almost single-handedly defending the main base from a four-man push. Clutch. And as we hit the two-minute mark and the two-ticket mark, we are reminded of the fact that for the 15 tickets or so that Scandi has lost, existence has been drained of almost 20. And as you can see, existence starting to, to uh, wise up about it. They know not to push too much, although we have a lot of kills coming in. Kill feed heavily existence's way. Here comes the artillery strike. A little bit late, though, if it would have launched a second ago. Oh, we got the tank! At the very last second, the artillery kid did find M as with a direct hit, costing them that last extra ticket. So for the 15 tickets that Scandi lost at the end, Existence lost 20. A very good effort from Scandi at the end of that round. Existence will take round number one, 100 tickets to zero. M going 32 kills for three. Waka going 33 and 19 as infantry. Squid putting up 27 for Scandi. A very, very solid round number one for both teams. Uh, 
All right, round number two between Scandi and Existence. I'll be following Scandi on the U.S. side. In just a second here, I believe we are live. No, I'll be following uh, excuse me, Existence on the U.S. side. That's not right, is it? No, I need to switch teams. I'll be following Scandi on the mech side. Yeah, there we go. I followed Existence on the mech side. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. So, here we go. 100 tickets was the win for Existence on round number one. It looks like a very, very rough re uh, spawn. Oh, no. Oh, no. I switched teams. Oh, no. This is going to have to happen. I'm sorry, guys. I need to get that rid of that stupid thing. Okay. That'll cost him a ticket. Either way. Huge hand grenade kills from existence. So, unlike existence last round, Scandi's going to push directly into the fence line, uh, into the upper village. And grenade spams are palpable here. One on the roof as well. Pavel Dina will get a TK end up under Terrace. High as killing Lou yet. Spencer and Pavlodino up high. Looking to maybe potentially get a shot on the tank. Yeah, I really hope it doesn't come down to one ticket. That would suck. I had everything uh, uh, correct until that happened. Oh, P will get a Sronda Lars. Actually, a double shot of uh, uh, rockets into Lars. We'll take the tank for Scandi down. M is extremely weak in his tank, and a supply crate will come down. One more rocket will take. Will at least take out the tank. Well, maybe not anymore. He's going to sit on the box for a few seconds. And Existence will hold the initial push from Scandi. And Existence will also send a Humvee to the far right. We'll just have to uh, remember to add that ticket back for Uber or for uh, Scandi. Existence gonna push their way into the city flag. Spencer on the drop, drop and few trying to drop hand grenades over the fence, trying to just lob them over like a softball. And he will get one onto Laden. That'll get that'll be nullified by the revive. Sraw shot into the Spencer. Terrace will get the kill into OP, goes for the revive, misses the revive. Artillery will drop from Scandi onto the flag radius, will kill one into Waka. That's happened in the past where I've literally had that thing and I need to spawn into to do suicide out. And I just pray every single time, like, please don't come down to a one ticket game. Please, please, please. M in the tank, pushing up into the city flag as the rest of existence will push the artillery hill of the construction site. Spencer. It's can grenaded by Bassa. One, two, three, four, five from existence. Against two of Scandi. No, we've got a sound bug. Hopefully you guys like the sound of a jackhammer. Because of the pause, Lara's going to DC again. Haven't had Lana... Uh, that's not true. Maybe not Maybe not for BF2, but BF4 had him recently. As, I would say BF4 has had him at recess recently as 2013... Oh, excuse me, 2014, 2015. Maybe even 2016. There may have been some for BF1. We're back in the game. It looks like uh, we got Terrace in here. Let's see what happened. Nero's Nero Nero Star Nero Star is sitting swapping in for uh, looks like Terrace, who is now replacing Lars in the tank. As now he's you see by the kill feed, he is in the tank. Existence. They're continuing their pressuring, their pressure towards the U. Towards the uh, Scandi main base of the construction site. The artillery piece for Scanny has been taken out. It is up to Terrace to now defend 
the city flag almost by himself here as existence pressuring the construction site pretty effectively. Hayaz and Boss are going to push and kill Narrowstar and Squid. M back up in the tank. of uh, Looks like one of the Vodniks for Scanty has gone around the corner. To the right side. Breaker with a hand grenade kill. Pavladino looking to kill Breaker. Probably should. Yeah, he's kind of caught in the middle of nowhere, so that push will be wiped out. In the meantime, Scandi has successfully defended the construction site flag, although we have a new squad bomb rushing in. Around the fence line. Spencer. Nero Star. Squid. Four infantry push for, for existence. Nero Star went around the wrong corner and found four. Found a firing squad against the fence. Spencer and Lou Yet. Trying to drop noob tubes around Lou Yet will kill OP. Peaky rushes in. Potential. Is this for the tank? Nope. Tank is still fine. M gonna rush in with his tank. Lars. Excuse me, not Lars. Terrace will get the kill immediately as, as he pushes up too far. Yes, this is a BF2 comp scene, man. It is awesome. Spencer. GP30 kill onto Waka. Santi. Out. Oh, wow. That shot from M didn't kill him? Ooh, that was close. Spencer will get the kill on Aladdin. That entire huge push from existence has been cleaned up at the hotel flag. Or excuse me, at the Mula construction site. Terrace now almost having to single-handedly defend the city. Three, four, five infantry, most of them AT, pushing into city from existence. Terrace cannot defend this on his own. I'm amazed that he actually survived that barrage of, of uh, rockets. Spencer also dodging the tank shell like Neo. Hand grenades coming out from Scandi. City flag looks to be okay. Follow-up attack from Scandi go to, crossing the train tracks right now as we speak. What they don't know is that there's still people from existence on the left side of the map. On the right side, I should say. Yeah, existence, this push from existence is not quite over. Waka with a good hand grenade kill. Finds a double. Breaker on the roof. Yep, Scandi's not out of the woods yet. Terrace gonna have to get back in the uh, defense, the camp the camping defense position. Hayas with three Sraw kills in a row. Absolute baller. That's not easy. Taking a look at the mini map right now. By the way, we are seeing that existence is pushing incredibly close to the construction site flag. It's going to be up to Lars and Nero start a single-handedly, or well, well dual-handedly, uh, stop the push out towards the city flag. One player has dropped for existence, and the second one's still there. It's going to be Nero goes in, Waka will kill him. And how's construction site doing? M, what are you doing? That was the weirdest push I've ever seen M make. M, usually such a reserved and calculating tanker. I guess it had to be a distraction for the city flag. And amazingly, Waka is just still hanging on here at the city. Laden will go down. They've taken, the, at least they've grayed the flag out. <laughs> Terrace, trying his best to just shoot Waka and Stop this flag cap. Village flag has actually been captured by Scandi. Power played move by Pavladino. He'll get taken out, but he grayed the flag, which is a big deal. Peaky trying to throw hand grenades over to the city flag, and do we have a push here yet? No. Finally, Terrace will kill. Waka. After all that, Waka with 14 kills in the second round of Gulf Fulman. 
And the artillery will land for existence. Rat Fat Boy, one kill on the squid. I think that should be all he gets. Um, v on the far right for existence will get taken out by Terrace. And we're back. Two flags to two. Divided by north-south by the train tracks. Scandi in control of the north. Existence in control of the south. We have a push in the far north coming from Scandi as they push towards the village flag wall. Peaky and narrow. Basa going to drop Peaky down. And Nero will also fall. And that's the only players from Scandi's side encroaching into the south. Looks like Existence is going to follow up, though. One player from Existence on the left side. Three. Lost a Humvee on the right. Maybe four. It's just Squid v4 right now. Harris. In the tank, getting some reps. We'll stop the Humvee. Avladino in a rough position. He now knows the scale of the attack going to city. Artillery will land on the city flag from Santi. Accidental TK on the squid. Terrace drops one. And a second one. Revives are going to go out, though. We're not. I guess the artillery kind of ended them. M being a very aggressive again, pushing directly into the city flag. One, two, three, four for his existence. They're not on flag radius yet. But man, Scandi is here in force. They're pushing M back first and foremost. It's actually a really good decision because Terrace can handle the flag. He can't do it if he if he has to has to deal with the pressure of M as well at the same time. Lou Yet and Peaky. Get another shot off. That was an interesting decision for Lou Yet. Goes for the noob tube on the tank. I guess that was just a firing distraction. Peaky gonna get hit by Fatboy's artillery. And Scandi will defend. Eight and a half minutes left in round number two. We have 146 to 123. A fairly even round of Gulf of Oman. Basa, triple kill. Wipes the Scandi counter push. In existence, head back to city again. Terrace! Terrace nearly walked into two. Artillery for Scandi going off. It's going to land right on top of its own artillery piece. And that push will also be wiped. I love when Gulf of Oman turns into games like this. It's a push, counter push, attack, counter offensive game. I love it. Lou Yet. Have to go 1v2. Pavladino probably should help him out, but it's not. There's no way Lou Yet survives this. He drops one. And it looks like Pavlodino from the high ground did turn around at the last second and kill OP, so Luyet didn't die in vain. Existence, now going to start swanning on the back hillside of the construction site. Terrace here in the tank, though. Existence is going to have to deal with that along with the rest of the team. This is, however, the moment where Existence is going to push. Nice hand grenade kill by Squid gets a double. This is the moment that Scandi is going to... Uh, Lose the city flag, and man, are the, is existence on top of it. <clears throat> A preemptive artillery strike trying to defend the hotel flag for Scandi. Kind of misplayed where the artillery was going to go. And existence will grab city. Gandhi, where are you? Peaky. Maybe looking for a push towards village? He is the squad leader. Luyet will spawn at the last second, get the revive. One, two, three, four, five for Scandi. 
Spencer will drop to Bossa. They're on the high ground. Double or double rockets along to the Humvee. Two along, two infantry left on flag. Noob tube goes out. Luyet will kill OP. Gets the revive onto Squid. Flag will go gray, but the artillery strike from existence lands perfectly. I wonder if this is the perfect opportunity for Terrace and, well, Pavlino and Nero, Nero Star to take out this tank, and it will go down. It looks like there was a last-ditch attempt from that village push. Speaking of village push, you're, st you're still on it! Spencer went back for it. The absolute mad lad. Scandy should have no problem getting their, their city flag back. And Spencer will get the new squad command. Breaker with a TK on the OP. It's Spencer. 1v2 on the village. Spencer looking for a revive. We're looking for a med kit. Luyet will respawn. Another revive train. Spencer back up. 1v2. 1v3. The roles are reversed. The old switcheroo. Village flag. Gonna go the way of Scandi. Existence gonna drop the artillery right on it to see if it can stop at the last ditch of Tampa. Two are in the building. That's a guaranteed cap for Scandi. What a play. All Spencer there. Spencer holding his life alive. <laughs> holding that life alert line in there. Until he can get the squad lead. Existence. On the rooftop of the city flag though. Where do they go with this? They have to know they're there. Or Scanny has to know they're there. Spencer knows. He's chucking hand grenade kills already. Alright. Existence may be spreading Scandy a little too thin here. Kiki gonna have to defend village. In a 1v2? Or 1v1? He'll get the hand grenade kill into Laden. I think he'll hold that. Pavladino and Nero Star. I disagree with this. Pressuring the main right now might be a little rough. Existence definitely going to take the village back. Artillery dropping for existence onto village. Blue Yet will get an Eryx kill onto boss, so the artillery from existence not going to get any TKs? Or for the one from Scandi, excuse me, we'll get Walker. This is what happens when I start switching around between uh, spectator cams mid-round. Scandi still has to deal with the players from existence. Oh, Bassa. Good hand grenade kill on the Humvee. And Breaker will get the last. A 20 ticket difference this round number two. Scandi putting up a hell of a fight against existence. Pavladino Nero Star on the ground floor. And Waka. Finally gets taken out after a double kill on the fence in, in the hotel. I think. Is there anybody left alive? There is. Oh, the ar artillery shell lands directly on Terrace. Direct hit on the tank. So tank down for Scandi Squid, gets the kill immediately onto OP, who drops into the parachute, then gets TK'd by his own artillery strike. City Flag will go gray for existence, the tank is here as well. And the construction site might have a little bit of a presence there from existence as well. In the last two minutes, existence making it happen. Terrace back up in the tank. Both tanks are going to engage at the back of the flag. Going to ram each other just in the nick of uh, Waka from behind. It looks like there was a push towards village flag for Scandi and maybe a last ditch attempt to get a secondary flag. Did not happen. There could t potentially be another tank steal. Spencer, look into the fen. Tank will be up any second, and tank is stolen by existence. Pavladino, 
tries to get one shot into it. Peaky will get the Eric skill. Santi will drop the TKs. One minute left in round number two. And M in the tank at the far side of the hill, on the far side of Consite. Just chipping away at things. Not much he can do in that position. However, he can pretty much camp the tank, and that's exactly what he's going to do. Terrace might fall with the next hit. Yeah, he'll come through the fence and just get this kill. Wow, kind of surprised it didn't. That will, though. Ten seconds on the clock. Scandy put up a great fight, but at the very end, that three flag hold will decrease that 20 kill difference, or the 20 ticket difference, uh, down to 58. So, pretty rough there at the end. But a good effort. 57, excuse me. Scandy does have an extra ticket. Because of me. My fault. Terrace, though. 29 and 6. Excellent play. 22 for 5 by uh, M and the other tank. Fossa with 36 kills. 22 for Squid. And I think we'll now we'll head to map number 2, which will be docking oil fields, and we'll get some attack helicopter action in. That was 57, though, right? 1, 2, 3, yeah, 57, yes. Already, I think we are good. We are confirmed alive. Good luck, have fun being called on this round number one of Docking Oil Fields, which is map number two between Scandi and Existence. I'll be following Scandi on the Chinese team, and the US team will be taken by Existence. This is, of course, Docking Oil Fields, a three flag map with one flat neutral flag in the middle, one tank, and one attack helicopter per team. As we're over here on the U.S. side, let's take a look at the uh, U.S. attack helicopter spawn. Pretty good spawn for the attack helicopter pilot, which will be Lazen, one of the greats, against Lu Yech for Scandi. Lu Yech, Lazen, of course, reputation of just obliterating everything in the air over time. And Lu Yech, immediately with a TV missile, will kill one of the Jeeps. And Lazen going to be the one that misses. Spencer going to get... Safely, no, not safely. Incredible timing. OP with a Sraw onto Peaky, and the tank shell on Dispenser will shut down the push for Scandi. Holy crap, what a follow up. Just when you think Scandi was going to be able to do that. And we'll take a look at this helicopter battle as Lu Yet. Going to be looking for that TV missile against uh, Lazen in the air. The tank right now of Terrace gonna be critical. Well, never mind, that tank goes down. A Sraw from OP will do the double kill onto Terrace and Nero. This is gonna be absolutely critical that Lu Yat both either stay up in the air or drop that TV missile. Uh, that was interesting. I'm surprised it didn't show me uh, where it was going, but that's okay. I must have switched back really quickly. So Lu Yet going to start taking some chip damage from the ground. As Existence will literally post up every single 50 cal light vehicle they can up in this direction. As you can see, the tracer fire coming from the ground. Lu Yet just looking through the fog. Looking for anything. The moment he sees that helo, he's going to take the shot. The rest of the match, by the way, we are looking on the minimap. The minimap is going to be the uh, the big uh, giveaway here. Scandi pushing on the far right side. It looks like Breaker will kill Squid. Wonka kills Pavladino, and that will shut down that push. Looks like M in the tank trying to cross the main road about midway through towards the oil cisterns. Meanwhile, Existence is on the far right side, so they might not have a big defense to deal with M. And really, it's going to be up to the helicopter. 
friendly reminder that TV missiles one-shot everything. Oddly enough, except the attack helicopter when it does like 98 damage, so it's more or less a one-shot. But M and the tank will get vaporized if that attack helo sees it. So M is going to post up in that same spot it did. He did there, not M. Um, who am I thinking of? Harris is going to post up in that TV, in the same spot. TV missile will go out from Luyet, will miss, and back away immediately. Center flag will go gray. And I think we can finally take a moment to appreciate what's going on down there. Squid! Hand grenade kill on the, the center flag. M will go down in the tank to Terrace. Infantry on the rooftop for existence. One, two infantry against Squid and Nero star down below. Squid with a good angle for two, and he gets both. And the center flag is clear. Scandi will take mid with an incredible counterattack. I will say that's excellent placement by the tank, although finally it will get taken out by Lazen. TV missile from the... From the uh, from the uh, attack kilo from the Cobra. Existence, gonna push in from the low ground from uh, the. Well, yep. OP, straw shot. Ooh, good shot from Nero. Probably had it. That may have been intended for OP, but. Hit him in the meantime. M's tank back on flag. Wow, did Existence just recap that quickly. And it's something like Scandi's not on flag. Squid will not get one. Breaker up on the roof. Peaky will also drop. Louis doing a really good job staying alive, but so far he's really been a non-factor ever since hitting that Jeep right off the bat. Pavladino being hunted down by the Sraw. And a good work there. And he gets the pistol kill against Hayas as well. Lazen will kill the tank of Terrace again. Scandi. Only have two players towards the middle of the map. Well, nobody now. And his Nero Star will push in. Looks like the Peaky's in the FAV looking for the helicopter. And Lou Yet did get taken out. No, or no, he didn't. Yes, he did. He's on the pad right now. But I don't see a death, so that was interesting. Maybe he bailed, maybe he didn't, but Lazen knows it. TV out. Now that'll be the first death for Lou Yet. And with Lou Yet down in the helicopter. It's going to start getting really, really rough for Scandi. Although, they're pushing the main. Spencer looking for a rocket shot against the uh, against the chopper. Nero Star nearly on... Oh my god, they nearly grade it. That would have been a big gray. But in the meantime, we have a redeploy towards the center. Scandi going to rush mid and will gray and will likely cap the oil cisterns. Artillery going to drop it on, on top of this flag, just like the trailer to the game. Just like the trailer to the game. I lied. <laughs> Your artillery was going off. I guess it was going towards the attack halo. Yeah, it killed the attack halo for Lou yet again. Either way, Scandi get the two flag bleed again. Scandi needs uh, quite a few players more onto this middle flag. Squid will respawn. But... Existence already squad bombing the flag radius. I'm gonna try to get in this corner here. Spencer dropping onto OP. Walker gets shot in the back. Maybe Scandi can hold this. There's still one on flag radius. You think he's above? Sure is. Flag not quite going up just yet. More respawns coming up below or above. Oh man. Existence is all over this. OP will get a one. We'll get a uh, rocket shot into Nero. M back back on the tank. God, that was a quick recap. 
And that, unfortunately, now puts existence in the position where they can just go to town. Lu Yet currently down in the helicopter. Scandi doesn't have anything on theirs on anywhere near the middle of the map. All they have largely is this five man, well, four man, three man push. Two man push towards the uh the, the right side hill. But OP is just chewing away at that. He'll get taken out, revived again by Waka and this push along the ridge line is just going very, very poorly. Terrace will get killed by the tank or by the attack halo again. So we heard it going in the background along with the kill feed. Pavladino. Last man alive. Getting killed by the chase down squad. Yeah, just couldn't make it towards the center. Artillery will land from Risky. Once again, annihilating that attack helicopter. Terrace, back up in the tank. Likely not for long. That's the nature of tanking on an attack helo map. Lots of 50s out. Missile going towards the chopper. Ten minutes left in round number one of Docking Oil Fields. About a hundred tickets remain for Scandi. It's about 50 ticket lead right now for existence. Ever since Lou Yet went down, it's been pretty rough for Scandi, but that's just the nature of Docking Oil Fields. So when you're in this sort of situation, I mean, I've been, I've been in this situation many, many times. Uh, really, I mean, there's two things that happens when you don't have the attack halo and you're pushing your main. The first is your team starts to fall apart. You, you gotta remain. You gotta really try to re regain composure because you just die constantly. So you gotta may try to maintain a, some sort of morale to encourage your team to at least keep pushing and try to break out because it can happen. You gotta get lucky enough. The second thing is, you gotta organize every light vehicle you can to try to put as much pressure on that halo as you can. Oh, Nero! Two infantry in the center. Squid and, and Spencer. They need help. It can't just be them. They need more infantry help. Spencer. 1v1's Waka inside and loses. Squid is here as well. Squid will get one. Squid, looking for pot, potentially a revive. Nobody's here. Peaky squeaks right by. And the... Oh, and the TV missile from Lazen will miss. Peaky, oh, you should just stay in the center. Go inside the building. Oh, I, I, I disagree with this push. Oh, I disagree with this. He should have just gone in the building and camped. Hickey will get one. More infantry coming as well. The tank is going to go for the middle. This will be uh, Terrace going inside. Peaky will go down. There's nobody left alive in the center for, or in the, in the down south for uh, Scandi. And now Scandi will do a re redeploy and go towards the oil cisterns. Three on flag. This will be a very quick recap. However. I guarantee the way that existence is making this look that they'll just hop on this flag again really quickly. Double stingers go out against the helicopter. It looks like one connected against it. And existence already has people back here. One spawned in time. Lazen will get the kill on dispenser. Terrace. Hanging on for dear life, trying not to get TV'd. You hear vehicles popping like crazy. M gonna push into oil cisterns. Gets hit once, backs out. A Jeep here, though. Gonna go up top. Lazen now will kill the tank. 
All right, this is exactly what we have, what has happened before. Existence barrels into the flag, and Scandi doesn't have enough to defend. Breaker will kill Squid. Is anybody even on flag right now? No, it's just, this is... Nero. Peaky. It's not enough. Peaky will go down. The flag gets grayed out. There's no squad leader here. Spencer, Nero. Could these two players do it? Was that it? Did they get them all? It looks like it. And is this Peaky down here? Oh, it's Pavaldino. Pavaldino with the risky play. Probably drawing the attention of Scandi there. The attention of, excuse me, existence. Remember, all on... Oh, there was still players here for existence. Scandi did not reclaim this... A good effort by Scandi, but they weren't able to hold. And once again, I just disagree with that push towards the main. Especially when you hold the center. Existence has proven like four times now that they can immediately recap. They dive bomb this flag with like everything. And now the only uh, player for Scandi on their side of the map is Terrace, and he's inside the hangar on the far left. He is the squad leader. The attack helo, he is kind of safe from it. I kind of expect Spencer to go for the main. This will be a, this, Now, this is an okay main push. And I would hope he goes inside the refinery and not for the flag radius. And he's not... Now, why is this a big deal? Because the helicopters are right above them. This is a better position. Okay, I can live with this. But you need help. And, oh, wow, Bossa, Breaker. Wipe out all three players from Scandi there. That was uh, a big deal. That's why I like this inside here. You can hang out. You can watch your back. You can gather your full strength and then come outside. And what's existence going to do in that meantime? They're going to walk or drive all the way up to the main? The commander will see it coming a mile away. You force an artillery strike, you force the helo to come back. Oh, roadkill from Breaker. Nero shoots second. And will be the second kill for the double for Breaker. Only one player left alive in the center flag for Scandi, and it's Spencer. Spencer going to try to hang on, but the tank of M is here. More respawns come out for, for Scandi. But they're going to need a hell of a lot more than that. Oh no, there's only one AT. Now there's two. Squid will respawn. Double kill for, for M. He'll get rear shot once, but it's not enough. Let's look at the kill feed. M's 13 for 2. Lazen has 29 kills, 0 deaths. Luyette has four kills, nine deaths. Of course, I don't blame him. It's That's just him trying to get the helicopter over and over and over again. That's just kind of how it works out. I mean, Nero is... Nero and Squid are almost 20 deaths up a piece. And you got to remember, that's mostly non-helicopter deaths. That's mostly just trying to push flags. And Nero. Falls again. This time to M. Try to solo his way into the into the center flag. 
These Humvees. Double shot. High house will drop to that second Erix from Spencer. There is a squad leader here this time. Nero and uh, Pavladino. Lazen will kill the tank of Terrus again. And followed up with another kill on Lu yet. As he tries to take off from the Chinese helicopter pad. Two minutes remain. Tickets 21 to 120. The bleed pretty much affecting this game pretty handedly. As uh, Scandi have... Even though they've taken the center oil cisterns flag about four times this whole entire round. They haven't held it probably for more than a minute at a time. Every time it happens within 30 seconds, it just exists its barrels their way back onto it. And that should be the end of the round. No member from existence, or from Scandi, anywhere, well, anywhere, really. All they have is the stuff in their main. Luyette will, you know, die on the pad again. As you say, he's going to try to get off the pad, but that TV from Lazen was perfectly timed. And a couple Humvees are just going to scatter their way in, on a defensive line, maybe to see if they can deal some da chip damage to the helicopter, but it's too late. Eight tickets remain, 40 tickets, or 40 seconds. And we'll just have to see if Scandi can uh, make it happen for round number two. All it takes is a helicopter win, really, on docking oil fields, and you can absolutely make that up. And if anybody is curious to why you keep going for your own helicopter, even though you can't get it up, um, you have to. You don't have a choice. You have to have a player keep taking it. You have to spawn, you have to kit, you know, take it. Because if you don't take your helicopter, what's going to happen is Lazen is going to create a squad, and they're just going to drop somebody over that helicopter, and then they're going to have two. So you have to either suicide and lose that ticket constantly, or, uh, or you're going to be in an even worse position. Lazen, 39-0 in the, in the chopper. And that was a 116 ticket win for existence in round number one of docking. And there's the restart. The final round of docking well fields and the match between Scandi and existence is now underway. Existence will now be on the China side. Scandi will be on the US side. I'll be following existence on the China side. And we'll see where we head off on round number two. We'll see if we have a good helicopter spawn for Lazen. And we'll see what he if he tries to make another attempt onto the jeeps driving towards the center. This is a moderate spawn for the helicopter. And we'll watch his first initial TV and see what he goes for. TV should almost be out immediately. Tank on the map. Infantry in the center. Scandi with a very good deployment in the center. Helicopter down very, very low. I think uh, Lazen saw him very, very late. And they're going to fight it out. So no uh, attack helo kills right off the bat for either team. Scandi in the center. OP will drop to Squid. Squid dies to Waka. There's one left alive. Waka's gonna get the, the uh, revive on OP. Scandi only have one left alive here. OP and Waka down below. Scandi re redeploying more. Waka T kills OP. TK's OP. That's a big win for Scandi if they can capitalize on it. Revive goes out. There's just not enough for Scandi here. Three down south. Squid gets one kill. M gets another. The center flag is still gray. Revive's going out for Scandi now. Underneath. OP will drop to Squid. Squid falls again. It's just like a 
That seems like a rotating wheel. Over and over. That keeps seems to happen. That that turn of events. Waka now gonna get the revive and OP. And existence will take the center flag. Helicopter shot from M looking for it, doesn't get it. Very, very difficult in BF2. And TV missile will go out from Luya, and he'll get the tank in revenge. Also, friendly reminder in BF2: if you actually hit the ta the helicopter with a uh, TV with a tank shell, it does not kill the helicopter. Not even close. It does like 70 or 80 damage. It is not definitely not a guaranteed kill. Lu yet still up in the attack helo, so there is still a dance going on in the air. And Lazen ever so slightly pressing forward. TV goes out. Lu yet backing up. Out of range. As long as Lu yet remains airborne, there is still hope for Scandi. Speaking of which, Scandi. Pressing into the to the center, center oil cisterns again. FAV from Waka will kill Squid. They need more people here. Is there? Oh, there's a push to the main. This is interesting. Scandi with a three-man push against Waka. Center oil cisterns. Quite a few from Scandi. What I don't like right now is how timid Terrace is being. If this was uh, M, M would have just been on flag already. Even if he took the hit. Flag dropping. M. Not M. Terrace will go down as well. Flag will not go gray. The coordination from Scandi just wasn't there. The timing wasn't quite there. Lou yet also it looks like he may have died. Luyet just killed Lazen? Luyet's alive! Luyet will win the chopper fight. The kill feed lied to me. Scandi. Up in the helicopter. TV missile against Hyas in the stationary AA on the rooftop of the oil cisterns. Scandi will also reclaim oil cisterns. Existence not going to give it up without a fight. They're doing their massive redeploy and back in like they normally do. Three infantry near our on flag. Definitely walk on LP. Haya's there as well. Breaker there. Four infantry. Oh my god. This happens over and over. Waka will clean up with a triple kill and a peaky squid and Spencer. Lads and back up in the What? Lads and back up in the helo? Where's Lou Yet at? There he is. That's a mis huge mistake from Scandi. Lazen should not be up. If you take that helicopter down once, that you need to punish it. Somebody messed up the timing. That's such a threat. Scandi, or excuse me, Existence, currently in control of the Center Oil Cisterns, getting that bleed out against Scandi. 25 tickets up right now. Breaker, gonna get hit within the Jeep. Gonna hop out 1v1. He'll lose to Nero. Scandi, gonna push towards the Oil Cisterns flag in the building. M, on flag to help defend. The flag will go gray, but there's four infantry from Scandi here, along with the tank. And M, just picking up two kills on his own. 
And I love the route that he takes. He just comes in, barrels through, makes sure that anybody either inside doing their own shooting of the infantry or respawning gets KO'd. Even if he takes a hit, it's worth it. Oh no. Lou Yat, speaking of eating tank shells, will eat the first one from M there. Huh. <laughs> and OP. It looks like, if I was reading the chat correctly, Lazen may have survived two different separate artillery strikes. Which would explain how he got up. Well, Sister's flag goes gray. Scandy gonna push in, make the attempt. Three infantry there for Scandy plus their tank. Lazen says, nope, Harris, you are not gonna do what M does. And they will successfully defend against Scandy on the, cent on the center flag. Wow, that TV from Luyat was just out of range. Lazen looking for his own. TV missile out. This has got to be against the tank. It sure is. Terrace drops immediately. And Scandi now, uh, most of their team are in the main base, or they've got to be in that jeep on the far left. M sees it. He's going to have to defend, but look at the amount of... I mean, just look at the mini-map right now. All those blue dots, that's all of existence, and they are all huddled around the oil cisterns. Anything that comes past them on the left or right, the helicopter will deal with. The whole team is pushed forward. Lazen looking for that helicopter who is so deep. Luyat practically pushed against the map border. Lazen knows it. Still looking for the helo. TV out. And it will connect. Or did it? It was so close it didn't connect. That one did. God, that first one looked like it was there. And the immediate one, two, three TVs. Now Scandi is in trouble. Their helos down. Their infantry pushes down. Their tank is down. They are literally walking towards the center flag, and the LMG in the center could just cover them. And the amount of uh, jeeps up one, two, three. Fifty cals on in Battlefield 2 are just so much more effective than actual guns. As they should be. But they're more accurate, they register better. They have higher velocity. They're almost hit scan. <laughs> Poor Terrace. I've been in that position before. Hey, a new tank. Dead. Hey, a new tank. Dead. Helicopter for yet on the pad. Not long for the world, though. Oh my god! Well, he tried to dig deep. Turn that helicopter as much as he could behind the building. A good attempt for Luyet. Huh. <laughs> That was a bit of overkill. Masa on the G on the hill with the uh, with the Chinese truck covering that left side.
Him. Oh no, Lou yet on the pad. The chopper is down. OP is gonna go for it. This is a helicopter steal. M came in at the perfect time. OP's got it. Oh no. One, two, three. The chopper goes down. A good save by, by Scandi. And M will be punished for it. But Lazen doing that circle. Drop on TVs wherever he sees them. Yeah, that nightmare scenario for Scandi could have been, have been even worse. OP125 has got a uh, 2v1 situation now going on at the Sentinel well, Cisterns. And there's actually nobody from existence here. That's a clean cap. A freebie. Existence of putting all their eggs into the main base basket, but Terrace kind of just shut everything down. Scandi can out suicide out, and that's exactly what's going to happen. Squid will suicide. I feel like there should be more suiciding. Oh, there 100% needs to be more suicides. This isn't enough. And it's going to happen again. Candy barrels into the oil cisterns and grazes the flag. All four people, all four bodies on it instantly. And not enough people from Scandi are there to defend. That is like the seventh time, six or seventh time this whole entire match that this has happened. Artillery will drop from Santi, get one kill into Hayaz. Waka is on flag, but there's nobody here from Scandi now. So that's a safe cap back for, for existence. Ring around the cistern. Oh, that was a that was potentially a really good bait there, though. Would have baited the tank right into the uh, other tank shell. Although Lazen now starting to clean up pretty heavily. Terrace outnumbered. Well, doesn't matter how many numbers you have. All it takes is that one TV, I guess. All right. Scandi have like a four or five man push going towards the oil cisterns, but existence are pushing the main. Terrace is down, which means that the tank steal is potential in just about a second. Four infantry here. Terrace is going to go for the tank to secure it. Artillery is going to drop from Santi. That was a good artillery defense. Gets one. That might all be needed. Oh, breaker drops as well. Scandi's fine. Well, at least in the main, they're fine. It looks like that five-man push towards the center dropped. Terrace is doing pretty well. <laughs> oh, man. All these TVs are bringing back flashbacks. If you're an armor player on a, on a tech halo map, there's no, no worse feeling in the world or than uh, fe feeling like you're completely useless. You get a kill, maybe, and you just pop to the attack halo rocket. Bossa and Breaker will get a double kill for Bossa and a hand grenade kill for Breaker, and once again shut down that push towards for Scandi. And existence are in the main. Um, they're under one of the reactor towers. Santi drops the artillery. And it looks like Hayaz will fall to Lu Yet's pistol kill. Meanwhile, a jeep dropped in. OP on the pad. Is it enough? Is it enough? Does he have the time? No, he doesn't. 
One of those things about BF2 helicopters is they, they are heavy animals. It takes a lot of time for them to actually get airborne. Unfortunately for Scanny, that doesn't matter. Like, existence is here. They are rooted in the main now. The attack heal is above covering. M is on the far right side. A jeep actually just got bat passed. Two jeeps got passed. Lazden cleaned up one. And M cleaned up the other. Yep, nothing got out alive. Solid attempt. Existence with a tank steal. And the rocket from Scandi will miss the tank. One connects. Flag in the main, halfway down. Ayaz on flag. Waka pushing in as well. Waka will drop a second. And that's game. No, it's not! Not yet. Okay. Paris with a double straw gets the double kill. That was that absolutely could have been it. Just an extra second with the two players on it. The end of the game gonna be delayed just an extra couple minute an extra minute here as the remaining ten tickets of Scandi will will be bled out. Existence continuing the pressure though. They might just say, no, we're gonna end it a little quicker. Five tickets remain, but it's going to be a cap. And there's the gray. No more response for Scandi. The tickets are gone. Existence, clean up round number two of docking oil fields, 118 tickets to zero. Existence, take that match. Three points to zero. Not a bad effort by Scandi. Uh, they played really well, especially round number two of uh, uh, Gulf of Oman. I think that they were a little disorganized on docking. It felt that way. Um, existence, if, if even if you took the helicopters out of the picture, just for a second, and just focused on the times that Scandi actually managed to take the oil cisterns in the center, Existence was just so good at barreling in and graying that flag immediately. Full stop. And it was always, the, I mean, it was just always a quick counter cap and the blade continued. That's just something that Scanny's going to have to work on. And then they never had anybody there to defend that. It was always two, it was like either two or three players. Most of the time it was two. So anyway... Yeah, that is the end of the match for the week. Hope you guys enjoyed. We'll be back next week with more matches.